guide in this video. We're going to talk about Custom Lock Screen Maker. This is a new addition to your custom apps, KLWP, Custom Live Wallpaper, KWGT, Custom Widget Maker, KAPK, your custom APK maker to share your presets, wallpapers, and now your lock screens on the Play Store. And yes, now finally we have a custom lock screen. It has been out for a while. I've been messing around with it. It's in its early stages. I don't have a lot of bugs with it. If I even call them bugs, they're very minor. Maybe we can see them in this video. And I'm gonna show you how to set up your custom lock screen. And by far, without a doubt, I know with all of the other custom apps, this is the app to use to make your lock screen. So with all that said, my screen is off right now. I'm going to press the power button on my Galaxy Note 8. I'm running Android 7.1.1. I'm not an Android developer, but I know with future releases of Android, like the Oreo or whatever, it may work a little bit different. But with all that said, I'm pressing the power button, and this is my custom lock screen that I have just made real quick just to show you what it's about. Now, if I swipe to the right, as indicated by this little animation that I made in KLock, K-L-C-K, custom lock screen, if I slide to the right, it's gonna take me to my other lock screen. Now this is going to power off right here in a second because of the screen timeout. However, just to go ahead and say this, I use a pen or a fingerprint to unlock my device. If you use a swipe, a pen, a fingerprint, any of that stuff, when you press the power button and you slide to the right, it's going to ask you for that swipe, that pin, that password, whatever. Now, if you are using a completely unsecure lock screen, it's gonna take you straight to your home screen when you swipe to the right. For now, I'm just gonna use my fingerprint to unlock and now I am on my custom live wallpaper home screen. So, you know, I can start just doing my normal deal, go to my dock, I can swipe down and go to my notification shade, notification drawer, whatever you wanna call that. But yeah, what you see here is my custom live wallpaper. Again, that black thing that you saw at the beginning with the little arrows animating at the bottom with the time, temperature, and battery status, that is my custom lock screen. So I do want to show you how to set that up using K-Lock. But before we do that, let me talk a little bit about the fingerprint. Now I'm going to power off my screen real quick and I have had this happen from time to time. Most of the time on my Galaxy Note 8, the way I cut or unlock my device is I don't press the power button, I go straight to fingerprint unlock. Now, notice what it did. It took me straight to my custom live wallpaper. It bypassed the custom lock screen. However, at times, I have had it go to my custom lock screen after I did my fingerprint. It's kind of hit or miss, but I just wanna throw that out there. Now, one more thing too, on my Galaxy Note 8, I think on the Galaxy S8 as well, these particular devices do not have actual buttons at the bottom of the screen. Uh, there's actually no physical buttons whatsoever on the front of a Note 8 or I think a S8 as well. So with that said, when I unlock my device, again, fingerprint, notice this down here. This is exactly what I wanted to happen and this technically isn't supposed to happen. I have my navigation buttons on my screen set to hide and I have a swipe gesture to bring those up when I need them. Sometimes when I unlock my device using K-Lock or with K-Lock on, custom lock screen is on, these will pop up and they're not supposed to. A quick way to get rid of them, again, it's not a big bug to me. I just swipe down on my notification shade, swipe back up and now it's gone. And this is how my home screen, my custom live wallpaper typically looks. I don't have a status bar up here. I can do a swipe gesture to get that to show up and I can swipe it right away as well, but that's just the way I have my particular device set up, and that's using Nova Launcher in conjunction with KOWP. Now, finally, with all that said, let's look at K-Lock. You can download it from the Play Store, go ahead and get the pro version, support the developer, it's a great app, and I know with future updates, it's gonna get even better. So when you first open up custom lock screen, K-Lock, K-L-C-K, whatever you wanna call it, you're gonna see something remotely similar to this screen. If you have used KWGT or KLWP, you're gonna be right at home. If you're just getting into this app, I recommend checking out idomath.weebly.com slash KLWP. 
I don't have a lot of tutorials on custom lock screen, but a lot of things that you do in custom lock screen are daggone near identical to what you do in KLWP and KWGT. All of these apps work so great together. So first and foremost, up here in the top left hand corner of the hamburger menu, when you click on this, if you've just downloaded the app, this little uh, slider right here is not going to be enabled. This is how you enable and disable the lock screen. The save button, which I'm gonna go over in a second, does not actually apply or make the lock screen active. It's all about this switch here. Notice now I have this slid to the left. That means my lock screen is off. So if I just come and exit out of the app, go back to my home screen, I'm gonna power off my device I'm going to press the power button and notice we don't have that black lock screen that I showed you a moment ago. So now I'm just going to unlock my device with my fingerprint. Now I'm back to my custom live wallpaper. Going back inside of custom lock screen, the app, I'm going to slide this over now and now I can exit out of the app again if I power my screen off and then I power it back on. Notice I am at my custom lock screen. Sometimes it may show your lock screen security screen just for a split second before your K-Lock shows up. Very rarely does that happen, but I just wanna throw that out there. So I'm gonna unlock my device with a swipe and then I actually have to do my security unlock. One more thing to throw out there to those of you who use fingerprint unlock, let me power off my screen, power it back on. Now from here, if I use my fingerprint, notice the pop-up, phone unlocked with fingerprint. Now when I swipe right, it'll go straight to my custom live wallpaper home screen. So that's one of the main things, first of all, is to enable the lock screen, you need to slide that slider over. Let's go to load preset and let's load up one of the base packs. So underneath the install tab, uh, you have base pack here, but you should have these two that come included with the app. So I'm gonna go to swipe dark. I'm gonna load that up. I'm gonna go ahead and save this. Saving this will override the previous lock screen that I had enabled. Now again, take note, I still have this switch switched on, which means my lock screen is still going to be active when I power off my screen and repower on my screen. When you start tinkering with this app, one of the most important things in my opinion to go ahead and take care of is a gesture to unlock or semi unlock your device. What do I mean by that? Well, on this particular preset, I'm not inside of any items. I'm inside of root. If I go to touch, there is a custom action set to unlock the screen. So I'm gonna tap on that and we have a scroll gesture. We scroll to the right it's going to be a custom action and it's going to unlock the screen. To my knowledge, the only time you can use the type scroll end is when you have the touch set up directly in root. Okay, this is very important. Go ahead and set up some type of gesture when you're creating your custom lock screen so that you can unlock your device. There are ways to go around that. I recommend checking out the G Plus community, the KLWP community, which also has custom lock screen uh, questions and answers and bugs and stuff discussed there as well. But again, the scroll end, that option is not gonna be available if you apply some type of touch to an item that's not the actual root. Let me show you what I mean. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to back out of this touch and I'm gonna take this custom action unlock screen, I'm going to delete it. So right now I don't have anything set up to unlock my screen. I don't have that swipe right with this base pack. So I'm gonna go back to items. I'm just going to, uh, let's go to this clock that we have right here, 4.53 p.m. I'm gonna tap on that clock. That's that particular item here, as you can see in this red rectangle. And I'm gonna go over to its touch, and I'm gonna set the touch to unlock my device when I do a certain gesture on the time. So I'm gonna go to add. Whenever I touch this clock, we can set some type of gesture. My type is going to be, I'm gonna do a double tap. So when I double tap my clock, what type of action do I want? Custom action, and then I want to unlock the screen. You gotta have some way to unlock your screen when you're creating your custom lock screen. Bear that in mind. That's one of the most important things you want to initially set up when you're creating your custom lock screen, in my opinion. So let's save this. I'm gonna exit out of the app, power off my screen. I'm gonna power it back on with the power button. And now we have this new lock screen. Even though it says unlock by swiping to the right, I'm swiping to the right. Notice the screen is moving, but it's not unlocking my device because I removed that touch from root. Remember, I removed that touch from root. 
How did I set it to unlock my screen? I can double tap up here. If I tap once, nothing happens. If I double tap, boom, there we go. Now I'm at my fingerprint or my pin. I can type in a pin to do this as well, but I'm just gonna use my fingerprint to unlock my device. So that's just a general overview of custom lock screen, KLCK, K-Lock, whatever you wanna call it. I'm not talking so much about how to create certain things inside of there, but three important things in my opinion. How to deal with unlocking a device that is securely locked with a fingerprint, a password, a pin, or what have you. How to actually enable the lock screen from the hamburger menu in the top left-hand corner of the custom lock screen app. And then, very important as well, creating some type of touch on some type of item to actually unlock the screen from your custom lock screen. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.